All right, we're back. And since I ended the video with talking to them, I'll talk to them after I deal with Flemeth. So, we naturally need yes. our assassin. Yes. We'll take Sten. Mm. Yeah, we'll take Liliana. Her bard skills are helpful. Oscar. To Flemeth's hut. I'm traveling quite a ways for this. I'm sure I'll get stopped along the way like I usually do. Oh no! Made it straight there? Oh, nope. There, here was the cutscene. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Oof. She knows what's up. All right. Let us do this. Say what you must. Powerful swing. Yes. Indeed. So let's see what one do we want? We want regen. We'll do damage. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Oh. How interesting. Speak then. You have come far, and I am nothing if not hospitable. <laughs> oh, I do like that. Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. <laughs> Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? The truth, as if it were nothing. How like a man. <laughs> no, far better the lie. Far better the comfort of blankets and shadows and a mother's love. Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. <laughs> you get to keep her for a time. Mm. I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day, or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom, enlightening even. Would you give an old woman that? No. Okay, what will it be then? It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come. She will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. Well, hi. Can we even find something? Also, like turn off threat. Okay, come on. Mark 
dead. Direct me. Slay them all. Okay, I need you to do a thing. Sir, I need you to take your potion. Actually, die, you guys. Ah, oh, come on. Here I am. I am ready. I'm going. So, good thing you healed just before that. On it, as you like. Time for a little bloodletting, I see. Nice. I died, which is unfortunate. And you think we wouldn't just be standing there, but Good, good, good. Okay, she has nothing on. Oh no, she does. Flemeth's key, there we go. I think she had something. Moving on. We have used this key. Ha oh, ha. That's a quick fight. Over with. Rose of Possession and the Grimoire. You can have anything else you find. Morgan. I found nothing. Cool. Yeah. That's everything. I got the bad end of this deal. Back to the uh, camp. I lied to you, you know, about why I left Ole. In a way, I did. But these feelings were triggered by events which I did not tell you about. I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not, but you should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orle. Oof. I was framed. Betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. <laughs> the skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her. 
and because I enjoyed what I did. You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body. Sealed documents. Uh-oh. My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orlay to other countries. Nevara and Antiva, among others. It was treason. Oh. Some. But I had always assumed Marjolaine only operated within Orlais. This was an unhappy surprise for me. My life as Bard taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries, it takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. Uh-oh. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents altered by her hand to make me look the traitor. Dun, 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 dun. The Orlesian guards, they captured me. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. That's sad. No. Survival was my only concern at the time. The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. Fair. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. <laughs> it feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. Hey, we did good. Okay, with that, we'll talk to everyone. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh Have like we gone to Antiva yet? In Antiva, it rains often, but the flowers are always don't in bloom. Think so. Or so the saying goes. <laughs> it's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? <sighs> and it's a fine enough city, I suppose. Though it rather looks like someone spilled all the houses on top of a mountain and called it home, no? Hmm. <laughs> you know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. <laughs> it may as well be, but not this once, no. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. Well, that's fair. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. 
finest Antiven leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? Yeah. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a handsome Grey Warden? A man who then spares my life? I could not. Hmm. Perhaps that was a poor choice of words. Uh, true, though it is. Do you object? Not at all. And glad I am to hear it. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Yeah, we probably don't make good meals here. I think Alistair is in charge of cooking. What do you need? Ask away. I already said I wouldn't. Ah, I didn't what mean do to need? that one. Ask away. Such as they are. That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlais, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If you go <laughs> north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Well? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfelds, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact them. So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. Shame. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Uh, Stan probably says yes. nothing. I am hardly very well. Speak then. Then I suggest we move on. As you. Oh. Ah, uh, almost forgot. Ah, <gasps> mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. A hey, plus thirteen. Okay, and then we got to discuss something with her. I think if I go talk to her now, she'll try. Yes. Oh no. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> now I have enough time to study Mother's grimoire to find a way to prevent her from stealing my body in the future, for she will be back. One day, I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. <laughs> there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? I... You should not be so... <laughs> you have no idea what will happen in days to come to make such promises. Let us go. There is much to be done before... There is still much to be done. And she got happy. Yeah, I'm going to have to increase my stamina a lot now. Hmm. Do 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 do. I'm off. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Allies. To Denarum. Let's see. I got Redwall, Dwarven City, and a DLC stuff. Time for more practice. Huh. Oh. 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 I don't 
I don't appreciate this. Assassin Archer, I'll do that to you, Zara. Don't kill him. He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know <laughs> what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill <laughs> You came to kill me? It could. You may be right. Who sent you? Why am I wanted dead? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! Money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. It wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Huh. Never found out. Got the feeling the man I spoke to was doing someone else's bidding, too. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrim. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Wow, that's convenient. You told me about her. Now she's here. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me. And wants to finish what she started. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. All right. Do 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 do. Ha ha. If we have time, I would like to look for Marjolaine. We have a score to settle. That is literally why we're here, Morgan. Here, Juliana. Is but one world, one life, Let's see. One Change your board. Anything new? Nope. Okay. Might as well check check these things while we're here. Good to see you again. Do, do, do. I have something for you. The market district is a whole sight better because of what you've done for us. I know this may not be much, but it's an extra thanks. A lot of folks swallow whatever lies are fed to them, but us believers will try and spread word about you and the wardens. Thanks. Aw, thanks. And four gold. That is also appreciated. Leave me to my business. Rude. Wayne Shop will stop by there. Dwarven craft. Oh. Fine dwarven craft. Direct from Orzammar. Won't find better. Since we're passing this place, check them too. Only a 30 year rule. I thought it was longer. <laughs> nope. Uh, not surprised, I probably have a lot more. What can I get you, stranger? Uh oh. There you go. Hmm, rage, hunger, sloth, desire, pride. See if I can get any more tomes. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. Pop 
Ba 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 ba. Something else. Yeah, the Ring of Age. That's something I also need to get myself. Why are you two different prices? Just for this, Morgan, I'm selling a bunch of your potions. Sell a bunch of this stuff, too. I am ready. Do 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 do. More willpower. Hmm. Sleep. And we'll give her death magic. Select tactics. Supporter. There's a barrel. Hey. I think this is the warehouse. This warehouse is used for a lot of things after all. No, maybe not. <laughs> they really shouldn't make that place available to us so early. <laughs> I went in there and killed the dude pre-quest, resulting in a locked game. Assassin Connect. Oh, okay. I knew it was here somewhere. So I imagine it has been some time for you, Liliana. Some time for me? I do not know what you mean. Some time since you last knocked boots, shall we say? <laughs> you did just come from the cloistered life, no? Of course it has been some time. There are more important things in life than knocking boots, Zeran. Oh, I'll not argue that. I simply mean that the body has urges, urges given to us by the Maker. Yours must be considerable after all that time. That is a very personal question. I mean no offense. I simply offer my services should you ever feel the need for release. That's very kind of you. Perhaps I should speak to the Grey Warden for advice on whether or not I should accept your offer. <sighs> Adventure has changed you, Liliana. For the better, I hope. Hmm. Why are you bringing me into this? I just flirt with all three of you. Yeah. Enemy ahead. Oh wow. You guys just attack everybody who comes through. That's, that's kind of rude. Liliana. Ah, oh, so lovely to see you again, my dear. Spare me the pleasantries. I know you're... Oh, you must excuse the shabby accommodations. I try to be a good host, but you see what I have to work with. This country smells like wet dog hey. everywhere. I cannot get this smell out. Even now it is in my hair, my clothes. Ugh. Of course, you don't notice it. You wallow in the muck with your bees so much, you are used to their scent. I am not Rude. here to discuss Ferelden's odor, Marjolaine. You framed me, had me caught, and tortured. I thought that in Ferelden I would be free of you. 
but it seems I am not. What happened to make you hate me so? Why do you want me dead so badly? Hmm. Dead? Nonsense. I know you, my Liliana. I know what you are capable of. Four or five men you can dispatch easily. They were sent to give you cause to come to me. And see, here you are. I call bull. <laughs> Ignore what she says. She's lying. I know how she works. What are you up to, Marjolaine? Why are you in Ferelden? In truth, you have knowledge that you can use against me. For my own safety, I cannot let you be. It did you think I did not know where you were? Did you think I would not watch, my Liliana? What is she up to, I thought? The quiet life, the peasant clothes, hair ragged and messy like a boy. Uh, this is not her. You were planning something, I told myself. So I watched. But no letters were sent, no messages. You barely spoke to anyone. Clever, Liliana, very clever. You almost had me fooled. But then you left the Chantry so suddenly. <laughs> What conclusion so should I draw? So paranoid. You tell me. You think I left because of you? You think I still have some plan for... for revenge? You are insane. Paranoid. Oh, is that what you think? If I were you, I would believe nothing she says. Not a one. She will use you. You look at her and you see a simple girl, a friend. Trusting and warm. It is an act. I am not you, Marjolaine. I left because I didn't want to become you. Oh, but you are me. You cannot <laughs> escape it. No one will understand you the way I do, because we are one and the same. Do you know why you were a master manipulator, Liliana? It is because you enjoyed the game. You reveled in the power it gave you. <laughs> the game. You cannot change or deny this. Anyone who just thought of the game, you lost the game. I'm sorry, you just lost the game. Thank you. You will not threaten me or my friends again, Marjolaine. I want you out of my life forever. Leave Ferelden. Go back to Orle and never return. What you do is no longer my concern. I see. I will go, for now. But you carry a dangerous secret of mine, Eliana. It is not over. Not for us. Oh. She's gone. I don't know what to think. She said it wasn't over. No, she was lying. She won't come back. I... I need some time to myself. We... will talk later. Okay, good. I thought she was going to disappear on me for a second. I was like, if there's any locks here, you gotta be around to open it. I cannot open locks. Oh! Let's see. But you gave her bolts. Not helpful. All right, a bunch of these things. Five magic, twelve defense, eight percent magic resistance, down one willpower. Mm, yeah, no, her, her outfit's better, even if it's ugly. Alright. We are done with that. Drama. Do 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 do
like all this aura we have around us. Just because of how OP we are. And with that, we shall go to the Shelter's Pass. Why? Because it's far, far away. And we'll get stopped by people and things as always. Oh yeah, because you know, they ain't suspicious. Ah, a fellow traveler of the Fair Lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome of strange origin. The Deus V. Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. Ah, will the wonders of this all too small a land never cease? Well, they will for you. Get them! Now let's see. Which so one? Yes. Oh, I am paralyzed. I love this game. Oh. Going. Oh. Go, my assassin. We have done well. That's or white root. Death root. Just death roots. Hm. Onward. Hey. Collect you. Collect you. You. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Part? Oh, well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur. At your service. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Uh, what do you need? All the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Hmm? Just as well. You'll find the golem in a village named Honleith, in the Hinterlands. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I've heard it might be dangerous there, with all the dark spawn about, but I'll wager that's not an issue for someone like you. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold up the rod and say, Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Best Sounds good. Then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Neat. Or we're going to call this episode early today. Because, well, it's a kind of good stop. I helped both the girls. Yay. Wait, is that what I want? Yeah, yeah, I want to stop for today. Okay, yeah. Bye-bye.